you know, Casey's talents and, and Aaron's and Brad's, and obviously all three of those are very talented players, but why were they able to sustain the, the lengthy careers that they all had? You know, Casey wasn't the biggest center or the fastest center, but yet he just kept working and kept working and kept working. Myself, Aaron, and Brad, we all had the same characteristics. We're just workers, you know. May not, well, I know we weren't the fastest, um, and we probably weren't the strongest, but we just kept working. We were dependable. And those are all characteristics of, of Iowans and Iowa farmers. That had to be frustrating for you, your, your career, because every time you seem to take a couple steps forward, I think 07, you had a really good year. And then a year or two later, you, you tear your Achilles or you had an ACL, I think, at, at one point. Just to kind of go through that, that, that had to be really difficult. It, it, it was. It, it was a hard time. Uh, you know, I was in a backup role. I, I come from a, all I knew was to be a starter here at the university. And uh, so I, I'm in a backup role in Detroit. Uh, you know, the, your rookie season, you're excited about being in the NFL and you tear your foot up. So you're, you're on the shelf for 12 weeks. Well, most guys would have been put, put on IR. Well, the coach saw enough of me as soon as I was, uh, you know, got the cast off, he threw me out there. And, and things along the way didn't go exactly as, as I envisioned them. Um, but uh, so then I, I keep working. I earn the respect of, of Rod Marinelli. Um, and I become the starter and enjoying some success as a starter. And, you know, I going into training camp the next year, I'm, I'm slated to be the starter at left end and I tear my Achilles. But what do you do? So he said, I'm done. Can't return. I rehab. I was running by the end of the season. Um, and then the knee goes out. And that, you know, that's a hard pill to swallow, but hey, those are the facts. And uh, I gave it my all, and uh, and you know my body was just trying to tell me it was over. Can you talk about your relationship with Ed Thomas throughout your NFL career? How close you remained with him? Well, we we would constantly—I shouldn't say constantly—we um, we would talk, um, and uh, you know it, he he's he's extremely. Um, Extremely interesting, uh, unique person. Uh, I sometimes get a little emotional when I talk about him. So, um, do you want me to entertain you for a minute? Please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he had the unique ability to get the most out of every guy on his team from top to bottom. And I, I think that's what made him so special. You know, didn't ma matter if you were the uh, leading rusher or the water boy, he, he made you feel special. And uh, he expected and demanded uh, for you to do the right thing. And he didn't have a lot of rules because he didn't need a lot of rules because um, not that 14 and 16 year old kids don't make make mistakes because we all did, I did, but there was the one person you know that wanted the best for you and expected the best for you, and um, the tools that he gave me uh, at the high school level I carry with me today, um, and although we didn't talk every day, I could reflect on what he would want me to do or expect me to do in situations that, that were trying. Um, so I always fell back on those rules, the rules my parents taught me, the rules Coach Thomas taught me. Um, so, special person. Can you reflect on your time here at Iowa and then you had a big decision to make whether or not you wanted to come back for your senior year because you were a pretty high prospect, I think, after the 97 year and then kind of a disappointing cap, I guess, to the Iowa career. Yeah, disappointing would be an understatement. Um, you know, we, we, you know, I judge seasons and wins and losses, you know. I mean, I, the only thing that ever mattered to me was was wins or losses. Um, you know, people would say, well, it's the offense. 
you know, I was just re reciting this the other day or recalling this. And well, the defense did pretty well. Uh, you held them to ten points. Well, we didn't do well enough because they had ten and we only had three. Um, so I always took the responsibility of the team, um, of the defense. Uh, it, it was a disappointing senior season. Um, so, in the respect of wins and losses, I mean that that's evident. You know, I think we're three and eight. Um, we lost to Iowa State for the first time in who knows when. And don't think Casey doesn't jab me on that one. <laughs> um, but the decision I made to stay would, goes far beyond that. Those wins and losses, the friendships, the relationships I continue to build and, and grow uh, that senior season, I would never give that up. Uh, you know, and, and the memories that I obtain every Saturday, I, I wouldn't want to give up. So uh, that's why I came back. Am I disappointed I made that decision? Absolutely not. Um, well, you were three and eight. Well, there's a lot more that I, I gained through that year than, than I lost. And, and now, some years later, I mean, who knows, maybe I wouldn't have stayed in the league 12 years because I was immature and, and, and didn't have the tools that I needed to have a long career. So, What are your recollections of Hayden and, and playing for him? I, I remember Coach Ed as, he, to me, he, he was like the or, orchestrator, you know. Uh, he was a funny orchestrator. Um, and he let his coaches work. And uh, he was just a fantastic person, but he, he, he could feel the beat of the team. You know, he, needed, he knew when he needed to be uh, come down on us. He knew when he needed to be funny. Uh, some of his jokes were dry, but funny. Um, <laughs> so um, that's what I remember most about Coach Fry and obviously the care that he showed to all his players. You know, I, I don't know if there's a more caring coach and a person in, in, you know, in a university setting. Um, so great memories of, of Coach in the time here. Jared, you talk about how hard work farming is, and you're coming off a 12-year NFL career. You probably don't have to go back to farming yet. You do. What, what's the draw? Why do people keep returning to the farm? Because it's part of you. It's, it, it's in you. It's, it's what you are. It's, for me, it's, it, it was my passion. Um, I'm no longer able to to play football, I'm still involved in football with coaching, but that was my second passion, and, and it's like your bloodline. It's it's what keeps your you know you you ticking it. It keeps you getting up in the morning, and uh, you know I wouldn't have it any other way. Be involved in the <clears throat> at Clear Lake. There is that maybe a chance to kind of inspire some of those high school kids to maybe continue farming. Um. Yeah. I. Maybe not farming, but inspire for sure. Um, if I could have a small amount of influence on, on young people, as, as Coach would say it, and have just a percentage of, of influence of how he influenced, then my coaching is well worth the time, uh, well worth the effort, uh, because I realize the impact coaches parents, teachers, they all have on, on, on kids and it's a different world than, than I grew up in, than Denny grew up in. Uh, there's a lot, a lot more available to kids and, and we need to teach, as Coach Thomas would say, we need to teach to do the right things, to make the right choice and if I can influence one person, then it was, it was worth my time. How often do you remind Casey that he grew up in town and not out, actually on a farm like you did? <laughs> oh, I'm a pretty nice guy. <laughs> oh, oh, only when he calls from Kansas and gives me his opinion. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> we, we do have we have a special relationship, and and I'm, I don't know if you guys are in business with anybody, but you know it, it takes it takes you know. A, a working relationship, and Casey and I have that, and and uh, you know, I'll call him. Hey, you want me to sell the corn? Well, what's the price? Well, what do you think? You know, and so it's it's just it's just been a it's been a treat to work with Casey, and and 
continue to, to have, build that relationship. So I don't know if that answered your question, but he, he's told me before you give him a hard time because he was a city boy. Apparently, do you? Well, spade is a spade. <laughs> <laughs>